Johnny Reed. It's, it's so good to meet you. Your music is outstanding. Well, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, Johnny just shot a, uh, a show for us for Bravo. We did. Yeah, and uh, it's so funny when you sing and then I hear you speak. It's a, well, we did. We, it was absolutely incredible. We, uh, it was just so nice to be able to go up there and sing my songs and yeah. tell my stories and get in front of a new audience and meet some new people. So it was yeah. lovely and very, very excited to see it. Well, we're going to see a little bit of it right now. Let's take a look from Bravo. You make me believe Love is all I'll ever need Just when I feel I've reached the moon You look at me and say You never know what's going to happen in a show. You just yes. never know. Yeah. So we were shooting the show, and all of a sudden, there's this wee girl, and she's wearing a tartan kilt. And I thought to myself, it looks like she wants to come up here and have a oh, dance. So, so I just grabbed the hoodie. You know? I thought it was your daughter or something like that. Like, oh, no, no. no. I've, got, no I've, got, I've got four children. Yes. Uh, my wife and I have been together for 15 years. I've got a nine-year-old son, an eight-year-old son, a four-year-old son, and a brand-new baby girl. Hey. So, yes, yes. So <laughs> Kids. Uh, Justin is nine, Tyler is eight, Dylan is four, and Ava Beautiful is, man. Uh, well, you know, my, my granny was a huge part of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I lost my granny, mm -hmm. uh, two days later is when we found out we were pregnant with oh, Ava. Okay. So Ava means with wings. And oh. I thought, uh, you know, the album, A Place Called Love, uh, a lot of people ask me, why did you write this album? Mm -hmm. Where, what was inspiration? Mm -hmm. And when I lost my gran, it was a... Uh, I pondered the question to where my granny went. Um, when I welcomed my baby into the, my baby girl into the world, I asked myself, where did she come from? And the only logical answer for me was a place called love. That and is so great. Jointed. That is so, that's really nice. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. There is no wonder that you're nominated for four Junos. There's no wonder oh, to it's, me. it's a very, this very is... humble I mean, it's un unbelievable. I mean, yeah. you know, I immigrated to Canada in 88, Marlon. So now, why, now, why did you come from Scotland my father, to Canada? My father and my mother sort of wanted to give my brother and I a better opportunity at life. Yeah. Um, my father's a diesel mechanic, mm -hmm. and he said, we're moving to Toronto, and I thought Toronto was in Spain. So I thought, <laughs> I thought this, is exciting. this is going to be brilliant, you know. <laughs> and I remember coming off the plane, I came off at Pearson, and my mother had bought, as we were moving to Canada, so my mother had bought me big woolly hats and jackets. And how old are you again? Gloves. I was 15. 15. Big woolly hats and Yeah, gloves. so I arrived in Canada and it was July. <laughs> And I come off the plane and I looked at my mother, I never forget it, and I looked at her and I said, Are you sure we're in the right place? <laughs> that so. is hysterical. Well, a lot of people feel like that. Canada, and I see people in the summertime coming up with skis. You know, I don't understand that, but that's what happens. So, you know, these four Juno nominations, yes. uh, very exciting, and Fan Choice being one of them. Amazing. Which, which begs the question, did you vote for yourself? Because I would. <laughs> You know, I've, I've always been a believer in the people. Yes, you know, yeah. uh, I never started singing songs yeah. for nominations or awards. Um, I, I, I sang songs because um, because of the way I had a reaction on people. You know, I think of the greatest fear we have as people is the fear of being alone. Yeah. And uh, right. for many years when I moved to Canada, my guitar became a good friend to me. Because you didn't really have any friends when you came over. Well, no, I mean, I, I, you yeah. know, it was like... A brand and new you, place. And at 15, um, right? It was, my guitar became a good friend, so I started singing songs because I knew there was other people out there just like me. Yes. So to be nominated for Fans Choice is incredibly humbling. I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, my eldest boy, yes. we were eating spaghetti the other night, and my wife says to him, you know, your dad's up for Fans Choice, and <laughs> Justin said, well, who are you up against? And, uh, <laughs> who are you up against? And, oh, well, and he says, and Jen says, well, Justin Bieber. And, uh, and, and I swear, I swear, I swear, to, I swear to goodness, my son, without a, missing a beat, says, good luck with that one, Dad. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you don't know. You don't know. Oh, but can I tell you something? It's, it's just a lot of people say that. Uh, a lot of people say that you know yeah. it's just nice to be there and it's nice to. I truly mean it for you, the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Uh, to be able to come to a country, to be given this opportunity. Right to have touched the hearts of so many people mm. is worth so much more to me than than any any award mm. could could ever mean. As nice as it is, as nice as it is to be nominated and to be part of the Junos, to be part of Canadian musical uh, history, to yeah. be part of the the fabric right. that we call Canadian music is is an incredibly humbling feeling for me, the, the sort wow. of a hard-working man that came here in search of opportunity. And look at you mm -hmm. now. Look at you now. Honestly, Donna, you're so great. And they're celebrating their 40th anniversary. Yeah. Are you performing at the show? Yes, I am. Uh, I get to perform a song that I wrote. I sent my middle boy off to school one morning, and I said, away you go and change the world. And I thought to myself, how ignorant is that for me to ask my son that? So I wrote a song called Today I'm Going to Try and Change the World, and I get to perform that on live on the general stage. Have you uh, have you heard what the New York Post said about you? <laughs> Do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of Johnny Reed, they say, take a pinch of Bruce Springsteen, a dash of Bob Seger, and enough Rod Stewart to give you the mixed vocal gravel, and you start to get the vibe of this Scottish-born singer-songwriter. Wow. That's you. Wow. Look at all those famous names. I love all, that. all of those. Yeah. And then, but you're still you. Well, you know? people have said in the past, Marlon, you know, uh, how does it feel to be compared to so many of these people, sure. you know? And I always say I've been called worse, you know, and, <laughs> and uh, to be to be associated with some of the biggest names in the music business that have sold millions of records around the world. Right. I mean, what am I supposed to say? It's yeah. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a guy that likes to sing songs. What, what did sports. you listen to when you were a young boy? I listened like, to a lot of my, you know, on my mother's side, uh, Motown, a lot of Stax records, right. Wilson Pickett, Motown Solomon and Burke, yeah. Sam and Dave. Right. Otis Redden. You remember the first song you sang in front of people? Yeah, I do. Can you sing a little bit of it before we say goodbye? Yeah. There, Go there was a lad that was born in Kyle. No what na day, no what na style. I do it, it's hardly worth the while to be so nice with Robin.